Everybody knows that a truly good hero can only be great if he's up against some really bad guys. Disney may not have invented the theory, but they developed it into an art form, and the bad boys of Aladdin are enough to give you a thousand and one nightmares. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm and welcome for Sorcerer Jafar! The villainous Jafar is the dark side of Aladdin. His menacing look and scary voice put him right up there with the best in Disney's Hall of Shame. It's time to say goodbye. The man behind the voice is Jonathan Freeman. He says this job was one he always wanted. I've been working on this character for 32 years. I mean, since I was about the age of 10, I always imagined that I would love to do something like a Disney villain. The scale of the villains always appealed to me. How then would Jafar describe himself? Oh, well, he'd describe himself, you know, as handsome, attractive, smooth, cool. You know, when he talks about a boy being beheaded, it's always with a smile on his face. Freeman says it took two years to finish the movie with exhausting recording sessions. Nobody ever says, uh, could you hold back, that's a little bit too much. Or they, they're constantly going like this, you know, okay, that's good, come on, a little bit more, a little, you know, and uh, they lead you to the edge of the precipice and then encourage you to jump off with the whole thing. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Jafar, what if you were the chump husband? What? Jafar's big mouth sidekick, Iago, is voiced by comedian Gilbert Gottfried, and it doesn't take a close look to see a visual resemblance as well. It was uh, fun watching the character for the first time because the animator told me that he, you know, he would draw me and then develop the character around me. And so it was, it was pretty interesting that that's what people think I look like. Godfrey says playing Iago is perfect typecasting and that he had no trouble working with other actors, but he ended up working alone. Sometimes I worked separately, sometimes with them. As a matter of fact, in the beginning, I worked with some other actors, and uh, then they complained to the studio, and after that, I worked by myself. Gottfried is a big fan of animation and believes he was born to be part of it. I think uh, Hollywood feels they have a very good face for animation. Yeah! <laughs> I love the way your foul little mind works. Gottfried says the reason he could really sink his teeth into this role, the parrot has his teeth. The animators drew them to match Gilbert's own set.